it has come to my attention that there are grown-ups who eat candy on Halloween. We won't name names. And I don't mean dark chocolate truffles. I mean Skittles and candy corn. Grown-ups, please, if you're going to give yourself cavities and ruin all those trips to the gym, at least do it in style. Today, we're making candy for grown-ups in the shape of candied spiced pecans. But of course, you're welcome to use any nut with this technique. In case you think that I'm trying to pass health food as candy, let me assure you that these nuts have all the cavity-causing potential of Skittles and the addictive power so potent that I question the legality of what we're doing here. But they also have the warmth, balance, complexity, and crunch you will be hard-pressed to encounter while trick-or-treating. Let's preheat the oven to 300 degrees and get started. Mix together two tablespoons of brown sugar, a quarter cup of granulated sugar, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, quarter teaspoon cardamom, quarter teaspoon ground ancho chili, and half a teaspoon of diamond crystal kosher salt. But you might need half as much salt if using another type. Mix very thoroughly until all the brown sugar lumps are broken up. I find the easiest way to do it is to rub the mixture between your hands. Let's separate one egg white and beat it with an electric mixer to a soft peak stage. Be patient, it takes a few minutes. We'll only need half of this egg white foam, but I find that it's easier to discard half of beaten egg white than to try to separate it in half before beating. Add half a pound of nuts and thoroughly coat it in egg white. Add the sugar mixture and thoroughly coat the nuts with it. Spread them on a parchment-lined baking sheet in a single layer. This is probably the most labor-intensive part of this recipe. You do need to separate these nuts so that they are not sitting on top of each other. Bake in the middle of 300 degree oven for 30 minutes. During this time, the coating around the nuts will puff up and become pretty firm. And after five minutes of cooling, it will harden into deliciously brittle shell. These are amazing while still warm. But if you don't eat them all in one sitting, cool them off completely and store in an airtight container. Packaged in mason jars, they make excellent holiday gifts, especially when combined with a gym membership. For more addictive food, don't forget to subscribe to Helen's Kitchen channel. And if you are ever in the Boston area, maybe I'll see you in one of my classes.